Very nice. I love the colors. I have this blue thing on. How long does this guy talk for? <laughs> oh, a long time. <laughs> no, I'm just, I told him you just left. That was it. The event is over. All right, so do your thing. Have fun. And sure. Water would be great, yeah. I feel like we need some wine. I have meatballs. We could have a little Rocco's dinner party. Okay. How you How you guys doing? I oh, hey guys, security. <laughs> What's the matter, state? Um, do I know you from another book signing? Okay. Or do in my dreams somewhere? Or do we share a fantasy life? <laughs> Look at her. She's no, gorgeous. that was pictures. pictures. What else? I like the calories. The before. Calories. After. The before. Oh, you actually mm -hmm. understand that? Yeah. You'd be surprised how few people get that. Oh. Like, what are those numbers for? Yeah. Are they not, is the big number your number? Is the small number your number? Well, you know what a truck is, right? It's a thing that has wheels and an engine. I, I'm not familiar with Thuman, so I can't. Yeah. It's called Now Eat This Truck, and I sell healthy comfort food. I sell the I sell the the food for my books. New York. I only have a permit for New York. Uh, usually in Midtown. Yeah. I tweet and Facebook the location, so if you guys actually want to try this food, you can come. My I husband sell the fresh has. pasta. He's been there? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Great. Did you like it? Did you? Absolutely. Wow, great. Good. He was very impressed. Uh, usually Midtown, 52nd Street. Yeah, we're there almost every day. Yes. Avenue. I have a strange question. Okay. I bought your pants. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I worked hard on those pants. They are phenomenal. So if those pans weren't made in Thailand, well, they would have been like a thousand dollars a set. Am I in trouble? Because I'm looking at him, I think I'm in trouble. Thank two against one. Do you, are you security? Are you related to him? Which is hungry and want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions before they force me to sign? Yes. <laughs> your, your friend behind you was going. Do you have any restaurants in the city? Were you here for me? Were you here for me? Let's, re let's replay the events of the evening. Guess you have beautiful eyes. Shut off your camera. <laughs> What's the, who asked the question? You asked the question. Do I have restaurants? What was my answer? No, but I have a food truck. She said, what's a food truck? She said, boom. I said, I don't know. follow-up question is, what's your favorite restaurant? Midtown. My favorite restaurant? You got a follow-up right now. Just in case her first question failed miserably. So no no restaurant, but I do have a food truck called Now with This Truck, and I'm on it frequently. Um, we sell the food from all my books on that truck. And one of my favorite restaurants is a restaurant called Balthazar. In New York, it's on Spring to Broadway and Cross, mm. and they sell three tier towers of seafood. Yum. Awesome. Yum. Yeah. Really good. Yes. You have a question. I have a question. Why did you do all that to her? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Danielle. And it's so nice to meet you. What's your friend's name? Jane. Why is she such a troublemaker? <laughs> <laughs> she just got us into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You do. My favorite dish to make for other people is risotto because because people love it. And if you make it right, you can change their lives with one dish of risotto. If you make it right, it's got who's got any like four, eight, ten ply cashmere at home? Some really nice boyfriend got it for you one Christmas and then left the next day. I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. You know what really good cashmere how it feels? Come on, you guys have felt it in the stores at least, right? Yeah. You've stolen it and got away with it, right? Yeah. Do you know that beautiful feeling that cashmere has? It's really good risotto feels like that in your mouth. The mouth feeling that great risotto feels like that. Now, my favorite thing to cook for myself is like raw fish. I eat a lot of raw fish. Yes? Who was your inspiration for cooking? It's lovely lady right <laughs> I had so many inspirations. Uh, my mom, obviously, a lot of my family members, they're all in the book. My grandmother, my aunts, my uncles, they're all great cooks. They all grew, produced, baked bread, made wine. They're just amazing. Uh, and then three chefs, uh, Greg Kunz, Dominique Session, who I worked with in Paris, mm -hmm. and uh, John George von Gerichten, who I worked for for three days. And then he told me they had a hiring freeze and he couldn't hire me. So, um, <laughs> but I learned from him that frozen peas are better than fresh peas. But only in America, of course, would mm -hmm. anybody say something like that. And it'd be true. Uh, you agree? Yeah. Yeah.
My father and mother. Both we're gonna get in trouble. I have a feeling. Okay. <laughs> I'll yeah. get in trouble with you any day. Wow. Oh, <laughs> no. Seriously, I told you that because my father would that. say, when you get it frozen, at least it's yeah right from when yeah. it's it's picked. That's true. He, we would we never had canned anything in our house except for tuna fish. And All right. To this day, I still don't. Are you done? <laughs> I, I loved what you wrote about your mom. That was that was really book, nice. Or, the oh, dedication. Cool. Oh, oh cool, that was cool, beautiful. Cool, cool. Did you cry? Yeah. I can't read it without crying. I want to read the dedication of these books. It's beautiful. I can't do. She's got questions. Yes. Legitimate question? Yes. Or is it just going to be more sass and flirting? And you, you know how much I like it. Are so. you serious? You know, thinking of about opening us? a restaurant? Big Ashley. Big B. You never know. The night is young. Yeah. No, really. Am I serious about opening a restaurant? When did I say I was opening a restaurant? No, I'm asking, would you think of opening one? Do you have $10 million you want to lose? Yeah. Maybe the hot dog woman right there. <laughs> Some breaths. You know how you make a small fortune in the restaurant business, right? Start out with someone else's big fortune. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing something with healthy food because there's nothing healthy. You can't get healthy food no matter where you go, no matter what you do. And uh, it's what's missing in the restaurant world, so I'm, I'm considering that, yeah. I don't sell risotto on the truck, but um, we make fresh pasta on the truck, uh, fettuccine alfredo from that with chickens, ten dollars. Yeah, mama's meatballs, uh, three of them with pasta is eleven dollars. Yeah. Is it true that in it's dirt cheap? Yeah, these meatballs. Yeah, barely make a penny. Is it true that in restaurants they only make ten percent of profit? Restaurants generally make eight to twelve percent. Eight yeah. to twelve. Yeah, net profit. Net profit. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a public service. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I mean, you go really? into a restaurant, understand that you're walking into a charity built for, for the public. <laughs> yes, they do better in the bookstores. They do better. <laughs> the, the the church does better. Than I know. The, I'm telling it's you. Amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Crazy. Oh. So you have to have lots of restaurants, and you, you know you need to have the restaurant yeah, companies that make a lot of money have you know twenty thousand units across America, and they make ten percent on half a billion yeah, dollars a year. Like Dunkin' so Donuts, you have to have like yeah. at least five or six of them in order to have a profit. And the better the quality of the food, the less money they make. Because remember, food is handmade by human beings every time. Yeah. There's no way to mass produce it unless you're the sabret genius who <laughs> figured out how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> food. Uh, Cooking is couture. It's made for each person each time they order it. So, you know, you try to get 20 people, 20 human beings to do everything right every day all the time. So it's impossible. Try. How many kids do you have? Two. Two. Try to get them to do anything right one time, right? <laughs> oh, you're one of them? Yeah. Oh. Aww. Except for you. Except for you. Aww, she's, yeah. a, of she's a sweetie. No, but imagine running a restaurant that requires 30 people or 20 people to work in complete unison, perfectly in harmony every night mm -hmm. for six hours. Just think about that. It's practically impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you scare the hell out of them yeah. by yelling all like, day long. Like Gordon Ramsay. Exactly. <laughs> no, the, you're right. It doesn't work. You need those eyes. And it's party time. Come on up. Just like boarding on JetBlue. Thank you so much, by the way. I look forward party to meeting time. you individually. Party time! Yay! Yay. Rocco said 45 calories only.